Kenny in Boston, Massachusetts writes to me and he said, what makes a music streamer sound great from a pure sound perspective, excluding its features, you know, like storage and all that. And will PS Audio make dedicated music streamers to pair with DirectStream DAX in the future? Yes. Yes, in fact, we have the Air Lens. And it's an excellent, wonderful sounding streamer. Doesn't have any storage. And it, it does airplay and does all kinds of cool stuff. What makes it sound good? Well, on the one hand, if you think about it, you've got data coming down wires and satellites and, you know, and it's all sort of the same thing, right? And how that data gets to you, whether it goes from here to there to there to there and back again, doesn't really matter and doesn't affect sound quality at all. It, it, it's like saying if I have a Word document and I send it to somebody in London, some of the words are going to change or some of the letters or the punctuation. No, it's digital. It's perfect. Gets there, it's perfect. There isn't any different quality to the Word doc that I send to a publisher in South Africa than there is to one I send to my buddy next door in Boulder. Same thing. And music, video, all those files are the same. That said, they arrive in very different formats. Some are highly compressed and have to be uncompressed. Some, and this is true for a number of streaming services, don't really have the same quality being sent to you in the first place. And that's a whole other can of worms we can talk about. It's one of the reasons I like Cobuzz. Apple's fine. Apple has a, does a good job, not as good a job as Cobuzz, and I'm not exactly sure why. I know that some of them have watermarks built in that affect the sound quality. There's all kinds of crazy stuff going on that are all behind the scenes that we don't know about. Specifically, streamers sound different by the amount of isolation they can provide from all the goings on of the computer inside of them. And that's the simplest explanation I can give you. So take the air lens as an example. The reason the air lens sounds so much better than just about, well, better than anything I have ever heard, write me if you've heard something better, is because of its isolation, okay? And by isolation, I mean, in every streamer, there's a little computer, maybe a big computer. And that computer has noise on the power supply, on the grounds as it's crunching. I mean, those are running at many, many megahertz and they, they spew all kinds of stuff that isn't great to put into your DAC. It just, you know, it's noise, especially on the grounds and the power supplies, though we don't normally connect the power supplies, we do connect the grounds. And that's where you can, if you, if you look at it with a scope, there's all kinds of noise and, and hash, and that eventually winds up in the audio chain. So the air lens gets rid of all of that with what's called galvanic isolation, meaning there is absolutely no electrical connection whatsoever physical electrical connection whatsoever between the noisy computer and the clean output stage feeding your DAC. If you've ever used a fiber cable, that is pure galvanic isolation. There's nothing better than a fiber, like an optical cable, going between the two. And, and I wish that, you know, God love Toshiba for having come out with what we call Toslink, that was a Toshiba invention or popularization that kind of did in the, what could have been great. Years ago, when we first started in digital audio, we had what we called AT&T Glass. And that was amazing. AT&T Glass connected noisy crap with something that wanted to be quiet without any ground, without anything on it. It was amazing. And high bandwidth, high, high rate of uh, sample rate, we could run, you know, uh, 4X DSD, which, you know, is running at 11.2 megahertz as opposed to 44 kilohertz, right? 
or 192 kilohertz, our DSD that we use here at Octave Studios, that, that's 11 megahertz. And you can't put that over a Toslink or the Toshiba Link cable. So you have to use a ground connection, unless you do what we did, which is build in an air gap, which is how we separate out and basically have a little, little t kind of transmitter in there that separates everything. But anyway, so that's a long-winded question to our answer to your question about how streamers can sound different and why the air lens sounds so much better because it's just cleaner. And if we could have done it with a simple fiber, oh, that would have saved a lot of, a lot of he headaches. But they don't make that fiber anymore and no equipment carries it. We just, it just, you know, there it is. So anyway, thanks for the question. I'll talk to you later.